board game Empire. So the demo is we do an how to play and playthrough of We Incarnated. <laughs> so we really enjoy this game. It's a point salad style game. Basically, you are trying to um, reincarnate the beings. There are six different categories of beings um, and eventually create the human. Um, your points are determined on an unknown card at this moment called your life purpose card. I won't look at it myself, but I will show you my card. Um, you will get opportunities to look at your or an opponent's life purpose card during the game. They are um, actions that you activate as soon as you put a being into your area. Um, you have to activate whatever the text is down here on the bottom. You have to activate that immediately. And a lot of them allow you to look at your own or another life purpose card. Some of them let you look at two different life purpose cards. At that point, you'll kind of know um, what you will gain points for at the end of the game. And you can start aiming for that. Like my last game was plants, which are the green, um, were four points each. The mammals, which are the purple, or no, it's, this is the mammals, right? They are, um, they were three points each. Some of them allow, give you cards for dead animals. Um, if they died, you just flip them to the little skulls in the upper left, but you still keep them in your, in your, um, the same position with your beings, um, because you can bring it, bring them back to life. Um, but sometimes you might want to have dead ones because if your life purpose, uh, gives you points for that. So, like I said, there's six different categories. There's green for plants. I believe the this is the mammals, isn't it? The blue, the blue is the mammals. No, I'll show you the ocean. Um, birds, insects. These are the mammals, actually. The elephant. I'm not good at knowing these. Gray, and then there's purple, which are the sea. Sea animals. So I'm That's not gonna. The blue is the sea. Yeah. <laughs> and he has a squid icon on it. <laughs> okay, I don't know the names, and they're not right here, so <laughs> I go by colors. <laughs> you still got it wrong. But... <laughs> when you play this game, you can look at the little symbols down here in the bottom left. Um, really, all you need is to know the symbol and the color, and you can play this game. You do not need to know your category of <laughs> beings. <laughs> but um, I won yeah. the game, so obviously that's not important. <laughs> but each one requires or prefers a, a different category of being um, depicted by the symbols here. So the larger circle is what it prefers. So it prefers birds. The symbol on the bottom, the little one, is the one that's second preference. I believe that gray is the mammals, right? Yeah. yeah, the mammals can all turn into human form, so that is the mammals. <laughs> but um, so if you re if you choose one of the beings of the preferred animal or being, you get to draw two karma cards. If you choose the secondary one, you get to draw one karma card. If, if, if you decide to just reincarnate the same type, the same color, you do not get any karma cards, but it still goes in as your active um, being. The last card you took is always your active being, and then you activate whatever ability is on the bottom immediately. Um, so your turns consist of this. First turn, your first turn, it's optional. There's two phases in each turn. You can play one karma card if you want, you don't have to, or you can pass that portion and your second part of your turn is either you can play another karma card or you could choose a being to become your active, active being at the moment. Um, and some of these play off of each other. This is where the points come in. Or, and it's a really, there's a lot of strategy to this oh, yeah, game. This game yeah. awesome. Like I would, we thought Quentin yeah. dominated because he had a ton of beings and he was doing very, getting very lucky and playing very well. 
with um, matching up the the animals or beings that like to, like for instance, if the crocodile is visible in the being pool, you may gain control of it. Okay, so watch. he got lucky a lot of ways. So there's a lot of those that reference other beings that you get to take right away. So that gives you two beings right there. Right? I'm like 16 at the end of the game. He had a lot of beings. But I still could, lost. He lost because only because his life purpose card did not give him the points. We thought he dominated, but he didn't have the right types of beings based on his life purpose card. And she had a whole bunch of plants. I showed you saw her life purpose card when she had five plants. Each were four points. I kept trying to kill her plants. Yeah, he kept killing my plants, but I saw my, I had the advantage. I saw my life purpose card early on. I was the very first one. I think it was like second round. I got to see my life purpose card. Um, and that helped me a lot to give me direction, whereas they didn't see theirs till probably five or six turns into the game. So you're going to be constantly collecting these beings, but they all have all different types of abilities and things that you can do with them. And that makes this game very fun and just very replayable because you can see there's a huge stack of beings um, and it's always going to be random, the ones that come out. The way the game ends is when someone reincarnates into the human form. And like I said, all the mammals, the gray ones, can reincarnate into the human form and you get five points for doing that. The game ends um, as soon as the remaining players get to take their turn um, and the game ends immediately at that point and you just turn over your life purpose card and count up your points. It's very simple, but a lot of strategy. And you start out with, each player starts out with a life purpose card that you're not allowed to look at. I'm an aloe. Um, a being. They are, you could see they don't have, um, on the bottom, they don't have the little symbol. Of, they're all plants. All of them are plants. Mm -hmm. um, so the, you start out with a plant and they also have their preferred, that that's the beings you're going to want to target if you can. To, to get for your act of being next. Um, these also do not count for your um, points um, at the end of the game. These were just your starter card. Only the beings that you've collected count for your points. And everyone gets, I don't know if I said this, it's two starter cards. Your starter, or your, not starter cards, sorry. Karma. Karma cards. Your limit is seven for your starter card hand. Um, and the, uh, the way I, you get them, obviously, is when you collect the correct preferred beings, you can get more. Um, but, of course, you have the opportunity to play two of them every round if you want. But you're going to want to collect beings every round if you can because that is, in the end, the way you get the points. So we're going to let Quentin go first. So are you going to play a karma card? Um, no. So what I'm going to do is I get that. Do I get um, two karma cards? Yep. Well, no, you get, yeah, you get two. So his his starter card wanted this, the purple being. Oh, yeah, so, so he got the crocodile, so he gets two karma cards. He skipped his first part, which he could play a karma card, and now he has to activate this immediately. Wow, he got lucky. Okay. Well, if him. the fence is in the being pool, you may gain control of it. So the fence was out there. Bam, he got two beings right there. It does not activate the second, the one you get control of, um, it does not activate. Only the first one activates. But he has two beings right off the bat. And those those don't really coincide with each other, so it really doesn't matter. So hopefully for him, his life purpose card likes those. So mine wants either a mammal or a bird. So, ooh, I'm definitely doing the art. I'm not playing one of my karma cards. Oh, okay, look at your life I'm purpose. I'm definitely getting the Arctic Fox. I get to look at my life purpose card. That's his ability. So mm -hmm. I'm going to look at it and see what I need to collect. That was pretty good. You can look at any life purpose card. If you go here. Your own. No, I went to that one, the cactus. 
nice because now he gets the iguana. Yeah, I'm getting. Well, I can't get the cactus anyways because I have to. Actually, yeah, I can't because it's a plant. So I get no, it. it wouldn't. It wouldn't help you at all. Yeah, well. Okay, uh, so, so I'm grabbing that. So, so you don't uh, get any karma because you. Oh yeah. wait, I didn't draw my karma cards. You make control of the iguana and then make the cactus your active being. The cactus should be in front. Yeah. So he got a bonus card. You. And you always replenish those right away. Your turn, Quentin. I'm only gonna do. Even though it doesn't help me, I'm gonna do this so I can look at my life purpose card. Okay. Let me see. I'm just reading periodically because I'm like, uh, cars are upside down for me. Turn, man. Or is it? Did you really take your turn, Quinn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take the giant squid. Um, and it says if draw the top card from the being deck, if it is a marine being incarnated, else add it to the being pool. It is not a marine animal, so the boa constrictor goes there, and I have that as my active being. Okay, so. Plant, mammal, or insect. I'll do the plant so I can look at my life purpose. None of us have played any karma cards yet. Mm -hmm. I guess I was able to obtain that um, insight. I get one karma. What do you mean why you get that? It doesn't go with that one. He did the same one. You don't get karma for that. Oh, yeah. You don't get Why are you looking at your life purpose? Oh. You pay your karma back. If you look at one. one of your life purpose cards. Oh, okay. You didn't draw karma, did you? Yeah, I did. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta watch Anthony like a hawk. <laughs> I'm gonna take this hawk. Actually, actually, no, I'm not. But we gotta watch him like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Gramps, it's his, it's his bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the dragonfly and oh wow, get yeah, yeah, no I don't. But it's just you may gain control of the mosquito. Why did you you can't do the dragonfly? You can't do the dragonfly. Well, you're being that it needs to be a marine animal. Oh. Or so he could have got he could have gotten that one anyway. Yeah, yeah, what's it? I have a plan. Oh, yeah. Plan. yeah. You can do karma. the same type or oh. the preferred. So either a mammal or a marine animal. So this is the only one you could do, basically. Or you can draw one from, right? Can't you draw one? No, there's a card that lets you do it. Yeah. Okay. Draw one and be from the being death. This being becomes your actor being. No karma is gained. One. You may make one point in your lifeline active beam, ultimate only plane. Okay, so that goes on the discard. Yep. So are you done? Yep. Okay, so my first turn, I'm going to play that same card for my. I also got point. I don't gain any karma, but replenish three beings in the being pool. And what Ooh. that means is I can choose any three, which I do want to do that. There's too many. Actually, can I still take one? Because that was just a card. That could have been your first turn, actually. Yeah. yeah you, can't, you can't take that one. Oh, yeah, because it's different. It has to be a mammal or... Actually, you don't have nothing you can... It, you, that's the only one you can take. Uh, I won't take that one. Oh, no, I can take control of a mosquito. Where's a mosquito? No, I have it. It says you may gain control. It doesn't say if someone has it or it's in there. I think you just automatically get it. No. No. It has to be in the it has to be after. It has to be out. Ah, oh, okay. But there's some that says much out. Out in the So. Yeah, that's why I think you can gain it because for this one, it says if the crocodile is 
is in the bean pool. If the fence is in the bean pool, you may gain control of it. And that one doesn't say anything about being in the bean pool. I don't know if it, specif if it specifies for that. Being the bean pool. That's the only reason why I think it, it lets me gain immunity because that one has that text and this one doesn't. I don't think that's how it works. Well, that's one looking. Okay. Yeah, that's one looking. Maybe worded differently. They basically do the same thing but for different cards. I don't think it specifies that. I don't think you take a term, Amanda. I don't think it specifies it. Okay, so I can only get an insect, plant, or a. Mammal. Yeah, uh, it doesn't specify any. So I'm going to take this one. And if I have the meerkat, which I don't, I could have drawn two karma cards. But I get to draw two karma cards anyway. So I can get insect, a mammal, or a human, I see, but I can't yet. So there's no insect. So why? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Draw a random bean from the bean deck. This becomes your active. Okay. So that's your first turn. The walking stick. You may look at a plant in your lifeline, your active bean. Okay. So, um, this is the only one you could take. Yeah. May make any being in your lifeline your active being. Okay, I'm gonna make this one my active being. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, and also I get two bees okay. for that. Not playing any karma cards. No, I get two cards for that. It's just you may gain control of a plant from one player's lifeline out or star one. I'm gonna gain control of that cactus. Alright, grab it. And then the ability is you may gain control of the iguana and then make the cactus your active bean. So give me your iguana. Cactus <laughs> my active bean. I'm already stacking up those cards. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's see the new ones I got. First thing. Oh. Seems like I'm in the lead right now. Yeah, that's how you were last game and you didn't do so well. <laughs> so you didn't follow your lifeline. So, I'm going to do the snapping turtle, and if the opponent has two or more marine beings in their lifeline, you may kill one. Bye-bye, Iguana. Bye-bye. What? Mm -hmm. oh, that was going to take me that much. Never mind. My turn. As far as you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may kill a mammal in each opponent lifeline. Kill that one. Stop uh, killing the things. Which one do you have? Well, name them. Oh, warthog and arctic fox. I'll kill the arctic fox. What did the arctic fox do to you? I thought you liked foxes. It is. I think it might do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring both of mine back to life for both of my turns. All right. Because you guys were mean and you killed my animals. <laughs> so I'm going to have to play something because um, of the seven cards. So I'm going to do Rebirth. Bring mine back to life. We're all just reviving our dead animals. Okay. And then I can do a mammal or a bird. I'm going to take the hawk. Grab one karma card. If an opponent has the mouse, you may put it on the bottom of the being uh, deck. mouse. Anyone have the mouse? No. no. Okay. Okay. What's this do? Actually, I can't get that. I can get this. So, okay. Ooh. Oh, that gives me two of these. Uh, 
Oh, I also did not paint two when I grabbed this one, the cougar. There you have seven karma cards. No, not five. I have seven. I'll have to discard. I'm gonna do this. This karma speed. Um, I'm gonna do this. Choose the B in the opponent's lifeline. Make that their active B in. Let's see. What's the most? There, I'm making it go backwards in evolution. All right. And not only that, this I'm gonna do this. This card must be placed your second action. So I'm being the mural last line for one in the beam pool. Okay. And its uh, ability's not triggered. You just get to take it. I don't know. Oh, they both do the same thing. What am I doing? <laughs> they both look the same. I can't use their ability. Okay, so synchronize. What's that? Everyone has to make their wearing plants for active being. You have oh, to pick no. a plant for your active being. This is bad. I don't know Mysteria again. And I'm gonna take the bumblebee. If if the rose is visible in the being pool, you may gain control no, of it. No, it's not. My turn? Mm hmm. Well, incarnate any one beam from the beam pool, no karma's gain. Actually, I don't even have to do it. Actually, I'm doing this. Grabbing this one. Why do you need to do that? Plus, you will gain karma. And I get this. Oh, I forgot Wait, to it's... say to do the human, you have to have at least six beings yeah, one, in two, your three, being four, pool five, or six. in your being. The game over? Yep. I won. Well, we, no, we both get to take oh, our yeah, turns. We get to take our turns. You don't know if you won. Do you have each of each element? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I won. I'm not going to do anything evil. Do you have any dead characters? Nope. That's how you end the game. Um, I'm gonna do. No, I can't do that. I can't, I can't take any of these. Yeah, the last game uh, took probably like 40, 50 minutes. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna play two cards. I'm gonna kill two. I'm debating we're gonna kill two of yours or two of yours. You said you can still kill edge. Yeah, some of those cards. Yeah, but you ended it for a reason. Have you looked at your life purpose card? Yeah, no. he has. He did once, he did, he did once, and he ended it so fast for a reason, there must be a reason he ended so fast. No, I'm doing yours. No! Okay, so I'm going to kill these two. The insects? Wow. Oh. oh, I see why. Okay, so, I get... Did you take your okay. turn? Because you have two or more dead beings, I get 12 points. Did Bam! You, did, you, <laughs> did you take your turn, Amanda? Yeah, that was my turn. Okay. Do you realize I got my I 12 get 20 points, points that me and I just Have one of each be in your lifeline, and have an opponent with one of each be in their lifeline, so all of you get 28. Yeah, three or more at any one time. Okay, so now we count the points just based on our life purpose. Just count mine first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my first one oh, right here. So four okay. for my insect, three for my purple, two for my bird. We didn't get very many. Um, I have an opponent with two more dead beings in their lifeline. That's twelve points for Quentin. Control either the spider or the hawk. That's another twelve wow, points. Wow, that's really good. So twenty four, twenty six, twenty nine. 
33. So I got 33. I was fortunate to be able to see my lash oh, line. Shame about what you got last time. I think so. <laughs> okay, so now we look at Clinton's. Let's see. So two for each bird. You get four. Two for each insect. You get four. Two for each of the purple. So four. Four for each death one. I helped you there. Yeah, Eight. You did. Have one of each being type in your lifeline. One, two, three, four. Five, the dead six. ones don't count. Oh, I don't have that. No. Are you sure? He doesn't. The one, two, one's three. dead. But you've got another one. Oh yeah, that, yeah. One, two, three. Yep, I have all of them. Four, five, six. Yep, that's all of them. So you get fourteen. <laughs> have an opponent with one you. of each being in their lifeline. Yes, <laughs> you, 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 you scored three, it. Four. I didn't score that. Oh, okay. Fourteen. Yes, I won. I Eight, told you I won. Twelve, twenty, thirty-four. I think twenty-eight, thirty-six, forty. Yep, forty-eight. Wow. Yeah, this card's amazing. This I is lost. the best card. <laughs> Why did you get it so fast? You lost last Without game even too. Without knowing what your life purpose card. Was. You lost last game too. That was not a smart move on Anthony's part. I thought Maybe he already <laughs> looked at his life purpose card. Yeah. Oh, was just, me too. I didn't think you guys would have so many points with so little I cards. I had to look at mine. I, that hawk was 12 points, and what that move I just did on him was another 12 points. I was just waiting. Yeah, I, got, I was waiting to the end to use that. I got 15 points. Wow. <laughs> you did that last game, too. I have too. three more of any type. Yeah. I would say this is the best life control, Purpose either card. the vulture or the rose. Where do you get 15? Oh, and you're five for your human. I only see 13. Oh, yeah, 13. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is probably the best play purpose in the game so, because it's almost a guaranteed 28 points. Not real. Well, if it goes long enough, yeah. So, Quentin dominated with his 48. I got 33. Anthony got wah, wah, 13 points. <laughs> Why he ended the game. Not knowing what his life purpose was. <laughs> Why did you hit the game so early? <laughs> yes, I didn't expect you guys to have so many points he so early. He had a lot of cards. And yeah, what did you think a... you could get with that little stack? Not a good strategy. <laughs> and he showed you what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> We've only played this game a few times. <laughs> so, I think you should know that it's probably not a good time to end the game. <laughs> But we really enjoy this game. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's it's it has a yeah. lot of strategy and the <clears throat> the different abilities of the animals and there's a ton of different animals makes it a lot of fun and the way they play off each other. Um, definitely, you should check this game out and hopefully this video helped you to decide whether this is the type of game that you enjoy. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, please give us a like. Um, feel free to. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions if you want. Um, and we, again, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye.